Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another video. We're finally doing it. I am going to attempt to read for 24 hours, but not straight 24 hours because as much as I am a book girly, I'm not a book talker, I'm not a booktuber, and I rarely read for more than one hour a day. If I do, it's on the weekends. So the fact that I'm going to attempt to read for 24 hours period is insane to me, but you guys will have been requesting this video, you guys wanna see this, and honestly, I wanna do this. I've been in such a reading slump that I need to somehow break out of it. Like I am so far behind on my reading goal for 2024, it's insane. We gotta do something about that. We have the double shot of espresso going, and we are finally going to tandem raid Empire Storms and Tower of Dawn. I think I promised this video to you guys like months ago, but then I just got in the biggest reading slump and I just was not reading. So I paused reading these two. I think I got like two or three chapters into Empire of Storms and then said no. So we are going to attempt to read these two books over the next kind of 24 hours. Essentially, my rules for this challenge are 12 hours one day and 12 hours the next day so it is currently it is currently almost 8 a.m i have already gone to the gym had breakfast done all the morning things that i needed to do and i am ready to get this reading day started originally the weather was supposed to be absolutely gloomy pouring rain and miserable all day so i was like planning for the perfect cozy book reading day it is absolutely sunny outside, so we're not gonna waste that. I'm gonna start by reading off, sitting outside and reading on my patio because it is just too beautiful outside not to. My rules for the day are obviously to do all the things that I have to do, like eat food, get a little bit of work done, and then obviously I do have to go to Health Cafe to set up for class. But other than that, my goal is to read for 12 hours today and 12 hours tomorrow, making it somewhat more realistic, especially for people that don't read as much or just realistically don't have a 24 hour span to read straight. With that being said, let's get this started. I am kind of nervous, very excited. I have a strong feeling I am going to fail, but I'm gonna set a 12 hour timer for both days. And basically if I don't do 12 hours today, I am going to tack on whatever hours I don't do to tomorrow and go from there and see what we can get done. But it's 8 a.m. so my plan is to read from 8 until 6 and then go set up Health Cafe and then read from probably 8.30 until 10.30. That's kind of what I'm thinking. We'll see how this goes. I've never done a reading challenge like this before so Cheers to that. A double shot of espresso latte is going. I have a feeling I'm gonna need a second coffee for today, but the first thing I have to do, because I am going to tandem read these two books, and these are friggin' fat books. If I finish these in 12, two 12-hour 12 sittings, I'll be pretty impressed because I am a pretty slow reader, and these are both like basically 700 pages, so 1,400 pages. Someone do the math. I don't even know if it's actually going to be possible to finish these two books in... 24 hours, but we need to mark out the chapters in which like I'm switching over because I'm tandem reading. I have my trusty handy dandy cutie little tab sticky notes. I am going to look up online a like tandem reading chart and map this out. So this is the little reading guide that I'm gonna use. It is by Jenna Cleric. I'll link it below in case you wanna follow the same one. But it does do a lot of flipping back and forth. For how thick these books are, there's not a lot of chapters. So I am that person that does not like stopping in the middle of a chapter, but it's a good thing we're reading for basically 24 hours. So let's mark these books up. I'm not gonna lie, these little sticky notes kind of suck. They keep breaking and are not that sticky. We are all stickied up. We have all the chapter markers in, so it's time to officially get started.
I am coming inside because I saw a giant spider on the balcony and then I looked up and it was gone. So we're not reading out there for the rest of the day because I don't know where that giant spider went. It literally was like this freaking big. And I was like, chill, it's just chilling in the corner. That's fine, it's good. And then I looked up and it was gone. So I'm inside now. <laughs> On that fun little spider note, we're gonna do my first update of the day. We are almost an hour in. I just finished chapter four of Empire of Storms. So I'm taking out my first little tabby and we are switching over to Tower of Dawn. So far, so good. I think I didn't get this far when I started it a few months ago. So the first little bit was just a reread, but we're getting back into it. And now we're switching over to our first chapter of Tower of Dawn. On a side note, the first cup of coffee is almost gone. I have like a few sips left and I am feeling a little hyperactive. I don't normally have a double shot of espresso in the morning and I also have not had coffee for the last almost week. You guys know I like go on and off from like caffeine detoxes and I had just finished like a week of no coffee and so I'm feeling a little hyperactive. Also, I feel like for some reason I just have a lot of energy. Maybe I'm actually excited to read and that's a really good thing. Maybe it's the sun, who knows? Regardless, we're feeling good. We're doing good so far. I am on pace. I am on track. I am, I think, like 60 pages in, and so in less than an hour, that's pretty good. I would like to consider myself a slow reader, but for some reason, I felt like I was speed reading through those first few chapters, probably because I'd already read the first like three to four, so it was kind of just skim reading because I already read it anyways. I feel like it might go a little bit slower from here on out, but we'll see. Why did I not remember that Kale is in a wheelchair? I'm reading this going like, wait a second. Like the, I'm reading the first chapter of Tower of Dawn going, wait a second. <laughs> I know I read, I know I read Queen of Shadows earlier this year, but apparently my brain forgot that part. over the four hour mark for day one and I am hitting a wall but I am at the third sticky for Tower of Dawn which is page 110 110 for this and then I'm at the fourth sticky for Empire of Storms which is chapter chapter 11 I'm actually reading pretty fast. I feel like that's fast for me. Like I was saying, I'm not really a fast reader. So far, so good. I feel like Tower of Dawn is definitely a very slow build and slower paced book, which makes sense as to why people say to tandem read them basically as like one book, especially because this series does flip pobs all the time, like between chapters, within chapters, the pobs are switching all the time anyways. So it actually does kind of work to mesh as one book because they are like on the same timeline, just like in different parts of the world. So it's working well so far. I think my plan right now is to have a lunch break. So I'm gonna pause the timer and then possibly go and sit in a park and read. It's just so beautiful and sunny outside that I feel like I need to get out of the house. And like I said, I'm hitting a bit of a wall. So I feel like I need to get up and walk for a little bit. But so far, the fact that I've read for basically four hours straight is mind blowing to me because I've only ever done this probably a few times in my life and I actually do tend to read more in the summer so that kind of also makes sense but lunch break and possibly going for a little walk to sit and read in a park for the next few hours. Okay, I changed into a little park reading outfit. I think I'm only going to bring Empire of Storms just because I don't want to lug around two big paperback books. So we're gonna bring this and then if I get a little bit out of order with the tandem read, like not a big deal because I think I'm only gonna go out probably for like an hour and a half to two hours. It's just so beautiful and sunny out that I kind of feel the need to enjoy the weather a little bit and sit in the park and read. So we're gonna go do that. I'm gonna grab my emotional support water bottle and we're gonna head out. It 
is almost 5 30 so i have to head out to go set up health cafe we are just over six hours in and i hit another wall and i think i only read like around 50 pages in the last two hours that's so bad but i'm going to pause this timer and we will reconvene after dinner around 8 p.m back home back in comfies dinner is in the oven and i'm home later than i anticipated and dinner took a little bit longer as things always do it's 8 20 so we're starting the timer again while dinner is cooking because i don't think i'm going to be able to finish 12 hours today because it's currently 8 20 i'm at 6 12 so i would have to read until about 12 30 and truly i value my sleep so we'll see what happens. I might try and stay up till around 12.30 and finish the full 12 hour day. We'll see how this goes, but back we go. Also, we're back to Tower of Dawn now. We have moved to my final reading place for the day. Skincare is done, teeth are brushed basically ready for bed so that whenever I'm done reading I can just pass out. We are back on Tower of Dawn and I don't know if anyone else noticed this but it's giving me major Game of Thrones energy and I don't know if that's because I am almost done watching the series and it's so fresh in my brain that I'm just making so many comparisons but there's just so many like within the first hundred pages of throne of, of tower of dawn there's just so many things that i've been like this is so game of throne esque and i know it is obviously like very much political fantasy and and it's kind of similar just even in the whole series to game of thrones but it's like very much giving game of thrones right now between like the i think they called it the ca i'm not going to be able to pronounce this they called the head of this island that they're on right now like Kagon and I'm like that just kind of sounds like call like are we and then they have like a horse rider nation and I'm like that's giving Game of Thrones it's giving and just the way that they're like going to anyway anyways anyways I digress I'm going on a tangent a little bit but let's get back to reading fading fast it is almost 12 30 and i feel like i've barely made a dent in either of the two books in the last two hours we are at 10 hours and basically 15 minutes i'm going to stop it here for today so i'm gonna have to tack on another hour 45 to tomorrow if i want to actually accomplish this i think i set out to do kind of an impossible task i have read like 135 pages. I think I'm on chapter 11 of Tower of Dawn. And then I've read like 160 pages of Empire and Storms. So in 10 hours, I read 300 pages. Yeah, I read like next to nothing the last at least two to three hours. Like I think I read like maybe 50 pages. My brain is honestly exhausted. I don't think I've ever done this much reading in one day in my life. So pat on the back for me. And I'll see you guys for day two tomorrow to see how much I can read. I would love to finish these books tomorrow, but realistically, I still have another like 1,200 pages to read, something like that, like at least over a thousand pages. And that is not happening tomorrow, I don't think, but we'll see. So good night. I'll see you guys in the morning. I want to do what I want to do. I'm starting off my day with a run before we get into a full another day two of reading. I'm going to go out and do, I think, an 8K, an easy 8 to 10K, see how I'm feeling. But I just want to get like energy out and get my movement in before I am sitting and reading for the rest of the day. So let's head out and do a morning run. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, I'm still very pink post run, but we have our electrolytes. And before I shower, I'm gonna drink this and start my reading for the day. So we are officially going to start the timer again. We are at 10 hours. The goal is try to get to 24 today. I might have to stay up late tonight, but we're gonna start the timer. We'll see how today goes. for a mid-morning coffee. <laughs> creeping growing suspicion that Aelin and Rowan are mates and I had it from the first time that they met before I even knew who Rowan was really Dorian is low-key kind of confirming it like I don't care that Rowan already had a mate no Sarah J Maud likes to do this thing where you think someone is someone's mate and then they actually weren't and I feel like where it's happening here and it's the main characters of course so we just have to keep reading and see It is currently just past 9 p.m. I took a little pause for a few hours because I had to go to Health Cafe, make dinner, shower, and wash my hair. But I just restarted the timer. We are at 19 hours and 20 minutes. It is just past 9. So if I do the next four and a half hours, that brings us to, I think, 1.30 a.m. Will I get that done? I, I don't think so but I am like a third of the way through both books. Both of them became a little bit info dumpy in about like the 150 to 250 page mark. They became really info dumpy and I feel like really dense to read and like info dumpy in a good way, like world building, character building, but still not a lot of dialogue and the pages were just like stacked. So I feel like I didn't read a lot in the last like four to five hours. So we'll see how much more I get done. I definitely am not finishing the books as I anticipated. I don't know what in me thought that I was going to finish literally like 1400 pages in 24 hours when I am a slow reader. We'll see if I can get another 100 pages of each done to total off around halfway for both. We shall see, but we are back to reading. morning you guys except it's not quite a good morning it is actually in fact a sad morning because I failed the challenge I think I knew this was going to happen 
I am not built to stay up late. I am not built to stay up late and do something that is mentally tasking, which is reading. So I failed just shy of 21 hours, which all things considered that I have not been reading and I read for basically two days, like full day periods straight. I'm pretty impressed with myself, I'm not going to lie. And I did in fact get about halfway through each book I'm at like page, I think it's 357, chapter 30 of Tower of Dawn. And then I'm at like somewhere similar, like 300-ish pages. Chapter 31, page 278 of Empire of Storms. All things considered, I read like almost 700 pages. That I know that's not a lot of pages for like 21 hours, but I am a slow reader. I am a distracted reader and I have not been reading consistently for a while. Um, and I do not read for like long periods of time like that. I may start to now, that actually felt really good to just sit and like read all day and I kind of loved it. The books are chef's kiss. These two might be my new favorites in the series. I loved Queen of Shadows, but putting these two together and making them one big book, they might be combined my favorite books. However, I don't want to end off this video without giving you guys like a full review of book, I think it's book six and seven if you count Assassin's Blade of the Throne of Glass series. So I am going to finish reading these books probably over the next three to four days and come back and give you guys the full review. I am going to make this kind of short and sweet because I feel like this has already been a long video and I don't normally talk about books this much on my channel, but finished the tandem read. I cannot believe it. Five stars. Five stars for both of them. And I know some people don't like Tower of Dawn, but I've really enjoyed it. And I think that it would have taken me longer to read both books if I didn't read them as one. I liked being able to switch between all of the POVs because I feel like that's normal in what happens in this series. But I also loved that these two books specifically felt very different and read a little bit differently than the first four slash kind of five books in the series. It was a change of pace. It was a change of voice almost and tempo. And I really, really enjoyed both of them. I don't want to give any spoilers away, but if you've been thinking about reading Throne of Glass, this is your sign. Some of you guys had to convince me to keep reading the series after the first book. So if you have read the first book and you're like, yeah, I'm not into it, it gets so much better. I think the second book is still my favorite in the series so far. Second book was amazing. Queen of Shadows was amazing. This tandem read was amazing. I am just a big SJM girl in general. I love all of her books. Five stars all around and I am not one that easily gives out five stars but it is rare if an SJM book is not a five star read for me. And Throne of Glass, the first book was not a five star read as well as Crescent City but all of Akatar and the rest of the Throne of Glass series so far has been a five star read for me. But I'm gonna end off this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this little reading vlog. Very different than something that I usually film. If you wanna see more of these in the future, let me know if you liked this. I might try and do more 24 hour reading challenges or just reading vlogs in general. But I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.